Meghan Markle here. Today is January 23rd, 2023. It is 12.39 a.m. This is video number two. Video number one, at the end of video number one, I sort of mentioned vaguely that I will probably now think more and to create a Patreon account um, because with YouTube, things is getting a little bit too serious for comfort and uh, there are things I want to still keep my authentic way of sharing certain things with you um, and at the same time to be you know to to help share the truth with you guys and uh, after what had happened with me on pure YTE and I think this is something that could have easily been avoided both on my part and on YouTube but you, because the thing was on my channel I never made it public. YouTube decided to demonetize it. But there were a little hint here and there that YouTube was trying to demonetize my channel from the get-go. So I took the responsibility, the blame for it. But things could even get, I don't know. But what I'm thinking of doing is create a Patreon account. And those who wants to support me, you do not have to be a, a member on YouTube and then to support me also on Patreon. So you could either do both, it's up to you. I cannot tell you what to do with your money or you could just choose Patreon only. Um, I would prefer that because Patreon, I think I need to look more into it. It's uh, I have to pay for the service. So in order for me to have it, I'm, I'm gonna need to, you know, have you guys pay for the content, but I'll try my best to make it reasonable um so you guys could uh support me and things like that and uh i probably will share more stuff than just tweet but uh i will make the tweet version a bit more uh affordable but other things will be for those who's willing to pay a little bit more all right so as i think about it more and i set up the patreon page and all of that i'll let you know more about it but so far this is what i'm thinking of doing because of uh, what's going on with youtube and luckily for me i have the backup to continue doing stuff okay so let's go on twitter this was the tweet that i showed you on my last video that i will start with okay um let's see here palace pr working overtime i never watched the show survivor but I'm pretty sure it was a bunch of strangers scheming to win money by forming alliances and giving favors while plotting their next moves. Yeah, I saw the very first one. I think it was early 2000 or something like that. I saw the very first one. And then after that, I think the first season. I watched the first season and after that, I wasn't really into it. Too much backstabbing and nonsense and all of that. And I think the person who won it the first time... Did he go to jail? I think he did. Let's see here. Let me open another. Um, Werner. Oops. Werner. Okay. Let's see here. Survivor. Oh, my season. No. What did I press? Okay. That's not it. Survivor. In 2000, yeah, 2000, he became the first Survivor winner in its debut season, originally broadcast on CBS. He subsequently competed in All-Star season of Survivor, the fourth celebrity edition of Survivor. Okay, what happened to him? Okay, I think he went to jail for something. Let me see. Yeah, I think he went to jail. Okay, let's see here. Okay, did... 
the winner of first season survivor went to jail let's see i think he did went to jail born april 8 1961 is american former reality television contestant in 2000 he became the first survivor winner and is a build originally broadcast on cbs so what happened to him that's what i want to know did rich survivor go to jail okay let's see here uh when did richard hatch go to go to prison in 2006 hatch was convicted for tax evasion yeah that's what i thought yeah tax evasion having never paid his taxes for his original win on survivor back in 2000 and 2001 he served a 51 month sentence in federal prison before being released okay so that's what i thought okay but anyway that's minor <laughs> why did i bring it up oh because the tweet men mentioned survivor uh and i never watched the rest i don't know who the others are all right so let's see what happened here so i've been seeing a lot of different little tweets here and there regarding things that's going on in the uk i share them on my community board on this channel not pyte on this channel and uh, so this is what she's sort of making reference to her kindness of camilla has brought fergie and from the call sarah ferguson has been bonding with the queen concert as she realizes she is the power behind the kings and was in the thick of it during the royal family christmas celebration I just don't understand okay let me see if I could make sense of this you got someone Camilla that is I guess because yeah she is the wife but you know what let me leave my thought out of this because I just don't see it seems like they're giving her it's like she's the one who's running the show over there not even Charles okay Prince Edward could inherit major new title as Charles has changed of heart I mean wasn't he supposed to get the Edinburgh uh, title or something like that? King Charles is reportedly considering awarding his younger brother the title of Duke of Edinburgh in an effort to heal royal wound. I mean, at this point, uh, Charles better try to make friends, not enemy, because if uh, he's even creating enemy with his own family, then when things uh, hit the ceiling, he will be on his own. Prince Andrew wants to use HRH title again after reaching understanding with King. Whatever. Okay, Anne and Camilla had potentially for frostiness, but duo now have quite strong rapport. Princess Anne and Queen Camilla have an interesting history as the Queen concert ex-husband once they did the Princess Royal. A body language expert spoke to Express that UK okay, to explain the current relationship between the two women uh i don't know but let's see here fergie never had any morals or principles grifter as always mm. uh, so much to say uh, let's just say maybe it's just a form of survival over there unfortunately you know it's just a form of survival over there look at uh princess diana wasn't playing that game with these people look let me <laughs> so much fill in the blank fill in the blank yourself okay and the infallible body language expert thrown in the mix Fergie made a, a speech at Lisa Marie Presley's funeral as well apparently they were good friends I saw this but I didn't bookmark it it seems like they're trying to bring Fergie to be liked in the US so I think the Sussex is just needs to be careful including with uh, Eugene in a way too as much as I want to show, you know, a good vibe toward her, but the way the UK is, they could twist people's hand to get information. Okay, uh, can I use this photo, please? There's bullseye. Yikes. I've watched Survivor many times and you've nailed it. Okay, for goodness sake. Next tweet. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, let's be clear, by pulling Harry and Meghan's security, you're essentially signing off on them being home physically, even kill, with their baby. Yep, that's exactly that. Harry's dad will soon be the king of England and has some sick, twisted Shakespeare fantasy in his head toward his son. Weird. <laughs> like I said in some other tweet, I think uh, um, Charles is very intellectual, intellect in terms of reading stories, plays, and all of that. So, yeah you never know he probably gonna try to make his own uh, shakespearean type of version 
come to life. Okay, so there's my comment here. Hope Harry gets that in his head. Technically, he didn't care what happened to Harry's family. They didn't bother to know where they were for like six weeks or something like that. Okay, so there's two comments back here. Okay, that's my hope. They'll take a good look on her. His father didn't care and won't take his phone calls. Chuck is saying exactly how he feels out loud and clear. All while allegedly giving security to Camilla's kids. My goodness, I don't know anything about that. I don't follow Camilla's kids, so I do not know. So, but we could see who took security away from him. And this is why Harry is doing all the steps to find out why he's not getting security. Okay. He is a bad father and worse grandfather. It's sickening or very sad. And the thing is that he, seeing that Harry is doing so well in the U.S., Instead of them minding their own business, they're paying attention to what's happening in the U.S. And then that bothers them because this is not what they were hoping for. There's literally uh, images, cartoon images of what they sort of expected Harry to be like in the U.S. Okay? Working for McDonald's, begging for money on the sidewalk and all of that. Okay? So their expectation is not, did not come true. So Harry and Megan are hard workers and Megan went to school for all of this and she was in the show business. So she knows how this thing works and Harry is a hard worker and he knows how to create, you know, um, charities. So you put these two together, Harry and Megan, you get a dynamic duo and then make it lucrative for them. The only person who came out, I don't know if there's others who probably said it out loud, but Mark Cuban saw it right out of the gate and said he doesn't care what project uh, is happening with Harry and Megan, he will do anything with them, okay, or create anything around them as long as they are on board with them. Harry and Megan are incredibly marketable. I, I call them the, the new young Obamas. They're going to make an ungodly amount of money, and you know what? they literally could become billionaires over the next 20 years. If either of them came on Shark Tank, I wouldn't even wait for them to pitch. I'd be like, I'm in, whatever you want, yes, because they are so marketable. It'll be so easy to develop products and projects for them, with them, and around them. It'd be, yes, yes, can you hook it up? Because he saw the potential of Harry and Meghan. Okay, no, no. Uh, did you not watch the documentary? Let's see here. Let's be clear. The British taxpayers pays for the security for the royal family. Harry and Meghan choose to leave their roles as working members of the royal family. Okay, then I just read here. If it is true, why is Camilla's kids getting security? So if this is true, I do not know. Okay, allegedly. If, uh, what's the other one? Camilla's kids are getting security. Are they working royals? Are they royals? Are they blood royals? So if this is true, this comment isn't valid. Okay, so the taxpayers funded protection was stopped. But then again, there's Harry who said he will pay for the security himself because other people, celebrity, I think it was Kate Moss, have hired police protection for her wedding and all of that. So how come Harry cannot get that? Why was this denied to him? So again, this thorn, your this particular comment is out the window. Okay, however, it fits the Marcos victim narrative to say our security was poor. But it was poor. And then they said they're gonna pay for it. Okay, no, no, no. Did did you not watch the documentary? Let's see here. This is a bad probably. No, they both are liars. Okay. You didn't watch it and you wanna keep the, the narrative that's going in the paper. So there's no reason to even bother talking to you. Okay, I can converse with someone who refused to review factual evidence. Thank you. That's it. There's no reason to contact to talk with this person. It, this is a bad probably. Okay, who exactly are you trying to convince here? Because lying doesn't permit any of their abuse and they didn't lie so. Okay, all right, so you could read what's on the screen. I'm not gonna spend time on that. Security is not decided by the royal family, he doesn't qualify because he's not working well. Again, I just said it. Harry said he will pay for it, all right, but they refused for him to do it. There's other people prior to Harry had this issue who had got security from the police, but they pay for it they were able to get it so how come harry cannot get it he wasn't gonna allow to get it for free he literally said he'll pay for it 
Okay, as for the real threat, he and his wife are not the only royals who have had death threats. But the royal family are uh, putting more stuff, nonsense out there with the tabloid to make it even worse for them. Okay, I imagine there were quite a few more since Prince Harry's name is uh, his kill account. Well, the tabloid twisted completely. Oh my goodness. Again, loud and wrong. Yeah, these are bots who sang nonsense. They twisted the word. Once you read the article, uh, not the article, the book, it wasn't like that at all. But yet again, they don't want to read the book. They don't want to watch the documentary and then they put it their nonsense out. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Again, this has to do with, um, let's see here. This is the whole establishment Harry left. Let's see here. Okay, before I go to the next one. 10 sign you'll probably end a cult. Calls aren't as easy to spot as you might think. Most cults don't wear robes or live in a commune. In fact, most cult members don't even realize they're in a cult. During my 25 years as an unwritten cult member, I will often watch documentaries and read about other cults. As I research, I noticed 10 specific patterns that helped me recognize that I myself was in a cult. Okay, one, the leader is the ultimate authority. If uh, you're not allowed to criticize your leader, even if the criticism is true, you're probably in a cult. Cults begin with a charismatic leader who claim some supreme knowledge. They may call themselves a prophet, messiah, messenger, or an uh, enlightened teacher. They can also be CEOs, military officials, politicians, and self-help guru. Cult leaders convince members to forfeit their critical thinking ability and return for a sense of belonging authority and purpose to members it doesn't matter what the evidence or logic may suggest the leader is always right and their misdeed i'm thinking north korea for some reason okay and their misdeed are always justified criticism of the leader is forbidden okay to the group suppress skepticism if you're only allowed to study your organization to approve sources you'll probably in a cult cults view critical thinking as an infectious disease and every effort is made to suppress it mm -hmm. doubting members are encouraged uh, to isolate themselves from outside influence and focus solely on the doctrine of the cult criticism is forbidden people who contradict the group are viewed as persecutors and are often giving labels like anti apostate or suppressive person members are discouraged from assuming any materials that is critical of the group mm -hmm. uh, right is there more he said thing let's see there's two comment on the okay a cult indeed all right so let's go to the next week there's more comment but let's move on okay again this is regarding security pulling security without warning knowing the massive threats they've had against them then not taking your calls to get an explanation how do you forgive that spare by prince harry okay if i were harry this is the crux of it all forget his family not standing up against the racism his wife faced charles didn't care about what could have happened to his grandson's archie who at one day all had hate directed toward him archie's life meant nothing to them that's another point too worse not just pulling security out but also leaking the location where they were at that was an intentional move the least offense could be the royal family wanted to force them to return and uh, the more scary one the royal family wanted them dead I, I don't know why will they leak the location why knowing the fact that harry and megan you know and the rest of the family was running away from those people mm -hmm. uh put them one together harry is a better person than i am because what has happened to his wife and pulling security is unforgivable in my book but the thing is that at the beginning okay i really think there was good intention from charles part i don't know who is advising him but someone over there is advising him and then to make him forget humanity for some reason i think okay harry okay i just read that okay the king and the prince of wales closest aid will play a central role in future decisions about the sussex's security it is expected that Sir Clive Alderton, the king's private secretary, will replace Sir Edward Young. Okay. 
uh, Queen Elizabeth II, private secretary on the executive committee for the protection of royalty and public figure known as Ravik. Okay, the late queen assistant. Okay, when was this written? Because is there any time? There's no date here because this sounds something, some of the names that I've mentioned with the security thing. I've done several videos about the uh, heavy security on my other channel. Okay, the late Queen Assistant Private Secretary could be replaced by Chris Fitzgerald, the King's Deputy Private Secretary. Meanwhile, the master of the then Prince Charles household will shortly be replaced by the senior aide to Prince William. The shift will not be welcome, one for Prince Harry, who is not close to, to Sir Clive. It comes amid heightening tension between the Duke and his father and brother, who are barely on speaking terms pending the release of Harry's memoir and a Netflix series that features extensive interviews with both the Duke and Duchess. Okay. I don't know when this was uh, prereaders.com, when this was written. Okay. And not even, there's one comment here. What did they say? Okay. Let's see. King Charles the Cool will never have any say in Harry's family security. They leaked their location and took security away. Why will Harry trust any of them ever again? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Exact. Oh, and whatever's on the screen, that's it. And then I move on to the next tweet. Okay. And not even to have the balls to call and tell Harry himself to have to find it out from the security company. Charles needed to save that money to spend on he or he and his concert three days uh, celebration. Uh, I don't know. They have money for whatever it is that they need to do. When they don't want to do something, the excuse is they don't have money. Okay, exactly. I f but the thing is that Harry said he will pay for it. So why is this a problem if it's about money? Okay, exactly. I finished reading Spare and I honestly cannot forgive it. Imagine your parents know you are in danger and deliberately takes away your protection. It's pure evil. Okay, but Harry seemed to have at least given his granny for being party to that decision. One cannot. I don't know. I don't think they were informing the queen uh, honestly. They probably were telling her in, in a way to sort of for, for her to direct her uh her how will i say that you see the same on my uh, video one where that uh former uh soldier was presented with a false version of the book for him to respond to right and then he gave his honest response to a false portion of the book spare and now once he find out they twist his words okay when he tried to correct it after he saw the actual book, what was actually written, they don't even want to listen to him. So this is the thing. The people who probably were informing the queen were telling her in a sense to sort of direct her, her, how will I say her author, her authority, her response in a way to take, to be an agreement. I don't know. So the truth probably was never presented to the queen. I hope I, you know, explained this sort of clearly. I don't think they ever tell the queen the truth, but they told her things in a way for her to respond in a way to benefit whoever is trying to hurt Harry in a way. Okay, one cannot. I won't forgive them, but Harry has a big heart. <laughs> that big heart, I don't know. Princess Diana had a big heart. I don't know. Okay, I won't forgive because Princess Diana didn't do anything mean to these people. They literally lied to her, get her to marry the prince. Okay, and I think she fell in love with him. But yet, they mar he married her to manipulate her along with that woman she he's with right now. So, Harry better learn from that. Okay, I won't forgive them, but Harry has a big heart. It will be best if Harry just got on and live his best life now. The monarchy will go down the drain with Chucky three and Camilla in charge. They turn their backs on the couple who could have kept them afloat. All right, they're still there. I don't know. Things is going on over there that we probably don't know, but I think they are in a panic mode. I came across a tweet where people were protesting silently, but 
they don't want people to protest. So throughout the time when Harry and Meghan were in the UK, the nonsense we were he hearing nonstop, which I think they probably still doing, they were cloud clouding people's mind with nonsense. But meanwhile, the laws were being implemented to prevent you from doing protesting. Okay, next tweet. I actually think William is a massive problem between Harry and Charles. I believe William puts the dampers on any communication between Harry and Charles. Charles is a coward and allow Williams to dictate to him with demands and shouting. Since he was young, you see him hitting Charles in the head. I don't know. Now that he's a he's older and he's stronger than Charles. So I don't know. This is something they should have stopped way beyond, uh, when he was young, but instead they just let him know you're going to be future. You could never be born. So there it is. Just like the queen courtiers wouldn't allow her to communicate with fairy. I think William will insist on being the only one to communicate with fairy and her nothing in that family changed except the clocks. <laughs> okay, Chuck is an innocent. I believe Camilla is the dangerous puppet master. Even Diana's grandbabies aren't safe. She despised Diana's legacy and that's uh, Prince Harry. Okay, that's the blind side thing they didn't see coming. They, I think they tried. They tried to get Harry on their side, but Harry wasn't buying it. But instead, they, the, Harry was so smart. I've said this so many times. Harry's so smart. They Instead, they divide them. They divide the brothers. Okay, they're all a problem. Massage Noir was the shield from coverage of satchels of three million pounds, long-term marital infidelity, sexual assault, and active targeting against Harry and Meghan. Kate was literally elevated by denigrating Meghan. It's Harry who must be involved and in learning to let go. Yep. Okay, Chaz is definitely whipped by both Homila and eldest son, Billy of Baltimore. If not for those two, reconciliation will have already happened. Yeah. Oh, that's the video I was talking about. Look at him hitting Charles in the head. They never put a stop to it. Okay. I think unfortunately, Harry also seemed to cuddle William's bad behavior. He talks about after William screaming at the Sandrium Summit, they walked in the park together talking. Also, when uh, Mandana and Megan are talking about your brother, Harry gives a defense. It's just, yeah. Yeah, you have to watch the documentary to see what she's talking about here. Yeah, I saw that too. And this is why Megan was like, it's your brother. I don't want to deal with that. Let's see here. There's one comment under it. Okay, the system working as best it can and its symbiotic relationship with the press. No, it's your brother being shady and shady, sending Kanoff to try to win Megan's lawsuit. The whole family accommodates that Drake ill willy. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Let's see here. I didn't see the other one. Okay, I think so too. The same way he let Camilla call the shots. That's the thing. I think she's probably running the show over there. Okay, this is my humble opinion. I think Camilla is the neck that turns the head that wears the crown. I feel she has them fighting against each other while she scampers up on the throne. She is the only that not lost and has gained everything. Yep, that's the thing. And the other, they've been so used to getting their way and doing their thing and Camilla's creating chaos over there. Yes, I believe that. This is even more than what I think. He is, let's see, I suspect Charles is into light BDSM and humiliation. Who's been the naughty boy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's move on. Okay, Queen Father's death. Now this is slightly a different thing. I don't know if I should make this a different video, but let's see this here. Queen Elizabeth's grandfather was literally murdered by the royal doctor. Let me put allegedly, unless something come to let me know it's uh, the truth, allegedly. Well, it surprised me that her own death was, <laughs> was spared. Camilla wanted the crown, Kate wanted the jewelry box, and they had to make sure she was dead before Harry could reach Baltimore. That, I'm not surprised at all. Okay, so there's some things here. Tom Shaver, holy shit. King George V was literally murdered by his doctor, so his death will make the time first edition. What? Because of that? When was that? 16 March 17. That was in 2017. Can I? Oh, I can't even read that. Okay, I can't read that. I'll 
enlarge it so if you could see it but right now i cannot read it at 11 o'clock it was evident that the last stage might endure for many hours unknown so the okay i can't read it all right i'll enlarge it if you could read it uh, you'll read it K. tom Sh shivers let's now nah, it's back in 2017 now we have to okay let's see something here okay take a u-turn here let me see if i could see it sometime when you type the first few sentence this might come up let me see i'm opening a different one let's see do i see it nope never mind i cannot see it so forget that i can't see it i would love to read the thing okay oh so there's more let's see it. how the palace reportedly manipulated king george the fifth's death my goodness that's even more recent okay march 5th 2022 that was an event wow let's see here okay king george V was murdered not and was not euthanized letter what in the name killing killing of king george the fifth was secret until 1986 what so i won't be because harry was very concerned about the queen who's around her how did it feel being back um being with her mm. being with her it was great it was it was just so nice to see her you know she's on she's on great form we always she's always got a great sense of humor uh, with me and i'm just making sure that she's you know protected and got the, the right people around well, you making sure that she's you know protected and got the, the right people around well, you so hey i don't know sooner or later we're gonna know 1936 secret is out doctor sped judge the fifth death by uh, joseph lelyveld special to the new york times and november 28 1986 what okay i would not be surprised hey i i don't know if you guys see some of the videos before that I, I said my, what I had to say because it didn't feel right to me. Because when you look at the things that Harry and Meghan were doing, they were pissed at it. They were not happy because what they want for Harry and Meghan were people to dislike them. They wanted people to boo them, but that was not happening. So I don't know what they get out of doing if it is allegedly they did what to the Queen. What do they get out of it? well then again you see they're trying to move things <laughs> they're getting uh to be at the position or whatever but all this i think is only one person it's not the sun that's what i'm gonna say okay so they also employ a gang of shipment sympathizers in the royal family i've heard everything now i would not be surprised if this was the case camilla got queen elizabeth ii to put in writing that she wanted her to be title queen concert not princess um Princess, as they first promised, Camilla and Charles' media antics will hasten the demise of the monarchy. Not respected or loved, UK will tire, uh, we're tired of them. I don't know. I think both the Queen and Diana were murdered by the royal family. Hopefully, the truth come out. I think it's one person. One person is behind by everything. One person. Okay, it seemed rather convenient to me. Everything around it was spiteful instead of remorseful my god my god okay is this the face of a murderer no comment all right let's go to the next tweet all right again it's about uh I, queen elizabeth my goodness what people do for power i don't know like i said at some point you want everything you're gonna end up with nothing next tweet did queen elizabeth die naturally because with camilla itching for that crown okay there's me here girl from day one i was like what the f the sussexes were too happy and having positive coverage big no no diana the queen <laughs> version 2.0 i'm just saying okay they sped her up with there's the needle it's been done before i <laughs> i'm just saying okay was weak but still had few breath left she was sacrificed to end the german germany trip yeah so some people are seeing some of the things that I've said. Okay, was weak but still had a few breaths left. She was sacrificed to end the Germany trip. Her mama lived to be 101. That horse was more than happy to deploy the velvet pillow. <laughs> okay, I doubt it. The firm is sketchy as F. Uh, why does this? There's people saying, yeah. 
all right so from day one i don't know all right next tweet and then harry always spoke positively about the queen having secret meeting they meet them and all of that so hey they didn't like that okay um, they wanted to know everything but harry and the queen had you know their private communication nobody else knew okay anyone else feed swamped by tweets from the royal family at royal family okay most about camilla the latest one pulling a ribbon off a book bookcase okay i didn't come across this i think spare has hit home okay so that i'm aware i'm seeing a lot of uh tweets and making reference to articles which i don't have the screenshot of uh, about camilla it looks like they're trying to put positive things about camilla but the squad keep on scratching them <laughs> it's like dead on arrival so I, I don't bookmark majority of them okay i do follow this account but very rarely see any tweet from them okay i've been getting at least one a day for the last week or so but them twitter is not what it used to be okay pulling ribbon off a bookcase i didn't see that one okay yes literally reading corner and a primary school <laughs> oh my god you don't have to follow them or have notification about them turn on and you can mute them at royal family is pretty well run account to be honest let me see here Yep, I blocked them. You see, I blocked them. I know, just wondering if it was just me. I've been getting them every day for about a week or so. I've never followed them or even commented on there. All right, after this, that's it. Okay, I have the Royal Family Supporters and the Yellow Journalists, was it, Surveyors blocked. I enjoy hearing various opinions, but I'm allergic to the enablers of the House of Windsor and all it represents. I do strongly support the Sussex family. All right. I don't know. I blocked the, the royal family. Anything. If the squad don't bring it, you know, with screenshot or something, I, I don't need to know. I don't need to because they're too negative for me. Next tweet. All right. So a little bit more and a lighter note. Okay. We love you, Harry and Meghan. When one hand isn't enough to hold the hand of your wife. All right. 14 seconds. Let's see here. There it is. The other hand. <laughs> So they're just holding hand. Let's read some of the comments. Okay, Diana did that with Harry. I always love this about Harry and Meghan. To me, it looks like a comforting handhold, as if he's anxious and seeking some reassurance from her. Okay, I love them together. They love each other so much. Okay, where can I find a man like that? I don't know. Some people have it. They just, I'm not saying this person in particular um yeah you know, just in general a lot of people always see something they fantasize about they wish it for them but sometimes they already have it they just never appreciate it uh, right imagine if every man was like him no woman will divorce their husband always women there will always be something that will tick you in the wrong way there is no perfect human being Okay, imagine if every man was like him, no woman will divorce their husband or maybe <laughs> vice versa. Okay, it goes both ways. Always women need touch, hug, romantic stuff, special when you're in the public. Women love that connection from her partner. So beautiful. Okay, I think we all know his love language is touch. Okay, she's the captain of his soul. And this one, what was it? Um, I think uh, all know his love language. No, 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 not that one. Um, was it anyway women need touch hug romantic stuff special when you're in public women love that connection from her partner so be okay it's not everyone who likes to be touchy touchy maybe at a certain time yes but not everyone like for instance when I was dating my husband he used to send flowers to my office thinking that because women in his office always make a big deal about flowers they receive from their boyfriend or husband or whatever so he thought i would like that too but in fact it worked for me i i told him i appreciate it is the thought that count i do appreciate it but the way that i see it because i have to take the thing home okay i have to take it home guess what i have to carry it so it and i take public uh, transportation i was working in new york so i had to take public transportation to take it home it's not fun walking during rush hours the train is packed you know 
do, carrying a huge vase of flour and all of that. So I told him he doesn't need to do that. But guess what? And the thing that surprises him, I save all of the vase. I save all of them. All right. But anyway, let's go to the next tweet. I think this is it. All right. There's this. Okay, 2016, quote, Have you noticed the way Prince Harry looks at black women? Like he's ready to risk it all for them. 2022, this is the list. Let's see here. Uh, have you noticed the way Prince Harry looks at black women? Like he's ready to risk it all for them. That was December 2nd, 2016. There's a picture I have of Harry when he was young. Probably the most, I would say seven or eight. There was a black little girl behind a barricade. My goodness, Harry's eyes was fixated on that little girl. It took me a while to find it. When I finally find it, I took um, a copy of it to save it. I know I have it. I'm going to share it with you. All right, there's list, this here. Apparently, of what he was looking for. He had a list, apparently, of what he was looking for. Let's not go there. An extensive list. <laughs> a few things on that list. I'll show you the list. <laughs> Good. Nice try. <laughs> and, and I'm glad he didn't share it because I have, um, I don't know what happened between his ex. And I think if he did, that will probably somewhat, okay. I'm sorry I'm bringing it. It probably will show some sort of a disrespectful to the others. But what I think the list is, this is my humble opinion. Okay. It's learning from his past relationship. He made adjustment to what he was looking for because he saw those women were experiencing pain for being with him. This is what I think. And he made adjustment and he's like, okay, if that woman I marry should be able to understand the baggage that comes with it, the media and all of that. Okay. But what he didn't expect though is the racism that come with it. So yeah i think he made adjustment from past relationship that without disrespecting the other woman so he did good here for not mentioning it but i could always in insert my opinion <laughs> oh i didn't finish listening to it let's listen he to it again oops apparently of what he was looking for let's not go there an extensive list or a few things on that list I'm not showing the list <laughs> good nice try <laughs> this is the list. that's it Good answer. <laughs> and Megan approved. Good answer. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't mention it. Okay. This article has a handful of picture to that effect. Okay. I'm not going to go into it. Yep. There's a thumbs up. He had a poster on his wall at it end of Halle Berry. Okay. That sugar is always the sweetest when there's some brown in it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. Like human beings. That's what he's getting up their noses. Okay. I always knew he married a black woman. Okay. Um, I think the way the tabloid sort of, I don't know. I don't know. There's one tweet that I came across. We were talking about it to know, I think I shared it on my community, but, but I don't have it here to share with you that, uh, when he saw Megan uh, through IG was when, um, on princess Diana's birthday. Okay. And then I sort of make the connection probably on July 2nd, he made a, a phone call to make the, you know, reservation to, you know, to make the arrangement to meet at a restaurant. And then the second date, okay, was during 4th of July when they did that little, uh, was it cupcake with the American flag on it or something like that. So I don't know, maybe it was faith okay there was one comment i read under that which makes sense it, you know anyway okay have you noticed the way he looks at his wife does it matter what color she is it's his wife he loves her all right let's go to the next one i don't want to get into that next one spare okay prince harry's quote bleeding of love and quote description of his wife and spare has angered right-wing press and their followers they demand to see megan now i can imagine what they'll do if she's not seen another week let alone a month there's a laugh or oh, not to turn up for th that coronation i hope they don't go really imagine there was something huge that was happening in the u.s and then they invite uh harry and megan and archie went oh my goodness that will blow everybody over the coronation will be in back burner okay she will be very busy with another project please let answer be they'll implode okay this 
what is that <laughs> Too bad because Megan and Harry are chilling at the crib. Yep, <laughs> their home. Crib is their home. She's responding with dignified silence. Okay, hopefully they get... Okay, Spare is a book for anyone who knows what it feels like to discover their principles sharply diverge from members of their family and the era of Trump and media outlet like Fox News enabling his grift. Countless families have been shattered, including mine. Okay, NewJersey.com. Bye bye, haters. Prince Harry's spare is too complex for. Okay. Uh, let me click on it and I'll leave the link in the description for you. Okay. This is uh, from NewJersey.com. Okay, let's see here. Bye bye, haters. Prince Harry's spare is too complex for you to understand. Opinion from January 22, 2023. So that was yesterday. Okay, by Nancy Carla Cerdo. Okay, I was scrolling Instagram recently and stopped at a flurry of negative comment on the account of the much beloved cooked Anna Garden. They weren't gripping about a recipe, but that Garden had the audacity to excitedly share she was beside a crackling fire reading spare by Prince Harry. Quote, love you Anna, but you need better reading material. Throw that book and the fire. Okay, oh dear Anna, I love you, but now I might have to unfollow you. Okay, so these were the comments she was reading under that. Really, at this time, I also happened to be happily uh, ensconced and spare on a mild gray day in Hoboken. I sat on a bench at the waterfront uh, and listened to Audible and delighted. Rap surprising because I am not a follower of the world. No love, no hate, mostly just apathy. Okay, there she is. All right, so I'll leave this. You guys could read it. All right. So she was listening to, uh, to the audio, and then she was surprised to read the negative comment under something on Facebook. All right, Anna Garden. All right. So I'll leave the link for you to check it out. All right. Let's see. My home area news outlet has entered the chat, and I love it. Great column. Jersey strong. Spare. Okay. I'm from Jersey yeah kind of relatable for me and i ostracize myself i see the author is a life coach her view makes sense now i'm starting to realize uh the split is often quote keep things in the past as they are don't change grow proactively embrace change and these perspectives are difficult to reconcile and relate to one another i was going to tweet the same quote <laughs> so relatable at the moment love this article excellent thoughtful article it's a good thing for the royal family and british press that everyone in the us uk dislike harry and megan and no one is going to read harry's book just think about how successful the book and netflix that would be if people were actually interesting twitter need a sarcasm emoji <laughs> i think this is a sarcasm thing here many of his critics don't understand family dysfunction dependency and this case on media and abuse of power. Apparently, he was supposed to suffer and sign it. Yep, that's the thing here. All right, let's move to the next tweet. All right, Archie as a newborn is just so precious. I think I responded to that. Look, it's Miss Doria. I'm just happy she's able to uh, hold her uh, grandkids. Uh, that's the thing okay she knows when you're holding babies especially when they start uh, you know they could hold their head you could put them up right and to put them on your shoulder you always put something like this on your shoulder something clean uh, a cloth clean over your your shoulder um instead for the baby to go straight onto your your clothes okay not only it protect in terms of maybe let me leave it alone. I do that with my kids when they were young. <laughs> Look at Paula just watching over. Uh, uh, uh. All I'm thinking is Archie walking um, guy with his little boot going to see the horses. Look at him. He got so big already. Okay, there's me here. Oh, 55 people like it. Okay, I'm just happy Miss Doria doesn't have to travel to see her daughter and grandbabies. Thank God for that. May God continue to protect all of them okay there's one comment uh look at Pula. yep let's put a like there's the love miss doria looks like she is just overwhelmed with love so sweet and Pula keeping a close watch yep he's still so adorable what was he was saying in 2021 drive safe and hydrate now the last quote 
I got a dirty foot mama. Dog's chicken. Was it a goat or cheap? Horses, hummingbirds, plus the adoring little sister, Lily. Okay, dog behavior is better than KKK. <laughs> uh, little picnic. That's eerie. Okay, Pula's babysitting. Yep. Uh, Pula protecting her babies while Guy protecting his mama. <laughs> Guy, oh my goodness. There's something about Guy, the dog. There's so much love she, the guy has for Megan. You could see to a lot of pictures. Such a cute baby. All right. Every babies are cute. All babies are cute. Uh, next tweet. There's this here. They, they put him down all his life, but the spear was always meant to shine the brightest. All right. Let's, it's 12 seconds. All right. Everybody said that thing. Minding their business. Go in. Princess Diana pick him up. There it is. Now everybody. <laughs> everybody turned. And I think this is exactly what's happening here. They put him down. Look at him. He can't even see. This Princess Diana come to the rescue. Pick him up. Just like she's doing right now. Okay. Now everybody's like, what happened? I think um, Philip understand. He got it right away. All right. There's Harry saying hi. Good Princess Diana. And everybody turned around. What's going on? Um, I think this is the Queen's sister. And there's uh, Fergie. And there's Charles. Probably uh, pissed because a, a toddler get adoration. There. They turn around. What's going on? There's Fergie here. What's going on? There. He realized that's uh, Harry who's uh, being cheered for. Everybody turn around. All right. Let's watch it one more time. That's my analysis. <laughs> That's so queen. Nobody said a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. They they so used to getting their way, but they heavy the little thing got up to wave and then everybody just turned. Okay, there's this. I think Philip and Princess Di were happy for Harry. Everyone else, Margaret, Tampon, Andrew were surprised. Okay, haha. -ha. Princess Margaret was like, wait, who? <laughs> they who they clapping for? Okay, Prince Philip thought it was for him. Then he saw who was really getting cheered. No, I think he saw it already. Okay, tampon reaction and this clip is chilling. Okay, I hadn't noticed what insecure tampon. Okay, after this, I'm going to go back to it to see what Charles... Oh, I bet Diana got grief from Chucky after that. That's the rolling eye. But she knew Harry needed that uplift. Yeah, he, he couldn't see. Okay, that was so completely natural for Harry. All he had to do was raise a hand and we melt. Okay, Diana will have made sure Harry was equal, if not better than Willie. Along came another shining star and has uh, given Harry his platform to continually shine. Okay, jealous of a kid. Pathetic. Okay, just imagine how different his life would have been growing up if Diana hadn't died. So sad. Eh, he readjusts himself. Let's look at it again. Um, we're going to look at Philip and Charles. Okay. They all into their conversation. That's Princess Diana. Nobody's talking to her. Pick up her baby. Philip, no. Philip, no. He was looking. He saw it was for Harry. All right. Next tweet. And this is my last one for this video. Okay, damn, Phil spoke French, not bad. If Harry spoke French like that, fire. Okay, 37 seconds. That's in French. The population of the world increases every year, so there are a lot of reasons to try to stop this degradation. Now, no excuse for the people, the les administrators, the les, les professionals, the politicians. They don't have an excuse now to not understand, because we've talked about this tellement de temps et chaque jour on parle de ça et il y a tant d'organisations qui qui promotent le, le, le sauvegarder la, 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 la nature et le, la... ok I don't know but ok I just wanted you to hear ok the queen was fluent in French too she never used a translator on state visit to France I think this world they have to speak I think I don't know if they do if William speak different languages or Harry himself I think they have to speak different languages because they meet with so many head of states from different countries. So I think 
it's in their part to speak different languages. Now, unlike Heavy and William, they probably focus more on William to speak different languages. But if Heavy does, I don't know uh, if they if the firm put any emphasis on him speaking different languages. But I'm assuming William probably speak different language as well. Okay, wow, they know that. Usually when they say they speak French, it's awful cliche. Okay, he spoke German naturally, English, French, and if you're, if you're to believe the British media, some Spanish also. Okay, wow, impressive. Oh my, Sabine Nan. Okay, Phil was very intelligent, man. His intelligence had to take a back seat <laughs> to the crown, though. Yeah. And the thing is that he was a prince, but they didn't want him to use his title for marrying the queen. And uh, he had to give up a lot of things. All right. French used to be the international language until World War II when it turned to English. And England, especially, it was mandatory to learn. Okay. Wow. Je suis impressionné. His French was excellent. Okay. That's different language. Okay. He also spoke Nazi. <laughs> German, I think she meant. All right, so let's do a prayer. The last prayer I did in video one was prayer for knowledge and vision. Let's put wisdom. I'm adding with wisdom and vision. Let's see. Let's look at the first one. See if anything. Okay, there's that. Holy Father. You who are all-knowing and wise, teach me your ways. I seek your wisdom and insight. I want to have knowledge and understanding. I seek your wisdom so I can walk in the path you lay before me, knowing right from wrong, protecting against temptation and deceit. All right, that's good so far. Let's pick one. Let's do this one. Prayer for divine wisdom. Heavenly Father, open my eyes to see the truth, open my ears to hear your words, open my heart to gain understanding and your eternal wisdom to spread your word successfully in the land. May I be a blessing to others with the knowledge you provide me with so that I can assist in recruiting more soldiers for the army of Christ. I pray that I will gain eternal wisdom and understanding on this day. Amen. All right, so that is it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And I will be creating a Patreon account just in case something happened over here on YouTube. And I will try to make it as affordable as possible. And uh, yeah, it seems like I have to go to that route. I spoke about it for almost two years on my other channel i try to avoid it because the information that i'm sharing with you i don't know but it seems like things is getting too close so i should create the paypal account as soon uh, not paypal the patreon okay as soon as i can all right so that's it thank you for your support <music>
find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life.